Hi there, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Turfentine. We're on the inside track Thursday, the 2nd of November. 26 pentrometer, um, good to soft, 2 metre false rail at the 500 metre mark on the inside track. That means the draw will be imperative. And um, working from Alison's yard this morning, we did a lot of filming of the horses and um, saw some horses work. So it was fun. 12, 12, uh, sorry, 12.35, first race, 1,000 metre, maiden plate fillies and mares. Um, uh, not 1,000 metres, 1,600 metres, what am I talking about? Number two, Heart Peaks, that looks like the business for me. Ready, absolutely right, gets a good jockey in Kamala, and lots to like about it. Courageous has obviously got to be a danger. And then the two, nine, a Springer, and 10, Venetian Moonlight might be the big improver. It's been back from 12 to 1 to 6 to 1. Take a note of that and put it into your bipod. And even Freedom Square might end up improving uh, with the one and a half claimer. The last run was too bad to be true and it had some good form before that. Uh, race 2, graduation plate, and they go 1,000. An interesting horse here is number 1, Swing Upon a Star. This is the best horse in the race. Uh, comes off a long rest, gets McThorley with 60 kilos. You'd think they might get one of the top riders, but uh, Terry's booked McThorley to ride it and um, got to go well. Scratching of six and seven, leaves pure predator, big chance, but he's come off rested and gelding. Wind water, he ignores last start. Another one of uh, the Van Furen outfit uh, horses. They also have Pontiac, who they put the blinkers on. Might be a big improver too. So very, very open race too. Race three, uh, this is a um, 50, uh, sorry, it's a thousand meter um, merit rated handicap. And uh, the interesting horse here is Cornwall. Only had three starts this horse, recently transferred to Robin Class, since you know the uh, horse has improved with them. So have a very close look at Cornwall. Will go really well here if it's fit and ready. Beaded Gun, I like the look of this uh, filly. Uh, she's well drawn at three. She's only got 52 kilos on her uh, back. She is second run after a rest, which is um, a concern, but she could improve nicely, and certainly the going will improve uh, for her. Law of success. I think this is the right horse in the race. The big price is six to one, but they put the blinkers on him. That's a huge blinker strike uh, for the son of Wiley Hall. Number nine, War of success goes into everything. Race four. Middle stakes, 1,200 metres. Oh, I like Silver Tudor here. I think he's absolutely the right horse. I know it's second run after a rest, but he ran a, a nowhere close to his best form, I think, in his first run after the break. Calvin gets the right on him, draw one, course and distance, 2 one, one. Everything points to this horse having a good run. The dark horse is two, Argo Alley, um, 14 to one. This horse might improve. They put the blinkers on him, but he did, does look better over more ground. The favourite is Ampersand. The a match it runner got very good form and see an enemy it looks sharp for her race five merry rated handicap fillies and mares they go 2000 meters i'm going with number 10 rosie lemon each way i really like this filly i think that she's uh, in the right place she's a blinker strike uh, last time and that improved her and uh, Muzi gets a leg up on her. Everything points to her having a huge chance. She's by ideal world. She's now going over the right type of trip. I expect her to go really well here. What are the dangers? Well, it looks pretty open apart from that. The three nine to two shots are Burmese Tiara, Universal Love and Ideal Future, uh, and Ariel's Jet, who shows pace. But really, uh, if Rosie Lemon comes to the party, she'd be hard to beat. Midnight Crystal definitely goes into play. Pierce Stratum rides it with the blinkers strike uh, back on for the Warren Borders outfit. Race six, Mary Raider fillies and mares, they go 2,000 meters. And uh, with the scratching of Silver Sanctuary, he looked an absolute shoe in. This is open. United Council, very good form. Kamalo for Sage, looks like a good coupling. Ball and Bliss is way ahead of the speed rating. Gavin Lorena gets a ride on that. Intoxicating and Quiet Rebel, both got good chances. Intoxicating. Very much improved and certainly will improve over the distance and quiet rebellion, good form. Race 7, merit rated handicap, uh, 1450. I like good Queen Bess here. Last start, just um, pulled a line through it. She's drawn 12 out of 13, dropped out to last, ran on really well behind Feather Boa. That's very, very good form. Good enough to put this lot to bed. I'm Regal, I think, has got a chance. Uh, she's certainly 
looks like she's improved since she's been in Joburg. What a honey and crimson princess. And even Celtic Rumours, who's come off a long race and gets Gavin Arena, is worth taking note of. Race 8, uh, Mary rated handicap fillies and mares 14.50. Uh, now, the horse I find here is 2 Trentina. Now, this is 9 to 2. Trent Mayhew gets a leg up on it. If he gives it a de decent ride, um, it's got everything in its favour. The blinkers are on. Mary Raid is good. Come down in that third run after race. Everything's right. But these apprentices, these, I found that one yesterday in the first race of Mike Miller's. It was written by Nicelli or someone like that. Claim four. Well, he missed the break. He had a chance to get up the inside. Never took it. Um, and he ended up turning into straight stone last. Then found trouble all the way up the straight and got beaten three lengths. Let me tell you, half decent ride, it doddles him. And the same with Trentino. You, this gets a decent ride from Trent Mayhew as a right horse. Rose Tinted is a dark horse here. Might be very much better than um, rated because um, she has come from uh, Fortune Yard. She's had a rest, a long rest. Uh, Zaki decided to ride Peyton's Tears instead of Sunshine Day, which he's ridden a few times. That's quite an interesting uh, jockey booking. So, for me, James Goodman, the whole Interbet team, hope you have a great day at the races at Turfentine.